Hi, Dr. Agarwal. Hi, good morning. How <laughs> are you? Like like your your I'm my guest. <laughs> sure. Love, loving the red. Okay, healthy folks of all ages should get their flu shots, and there's no time like the present. Joining us now is Dr. Shilpi Agarwal, a physician. Uh, she's a board-certified family medicine physician, and she's going to dispel some common myths about the flu, and together we're going to show you just how easy and pain-free. You ready? It is to get your flu shot. Should we do this first and then talk about the myths? Or do we, would you all like to talk about the myths, please, and then I'll get the well, shot? What do you want I'm getting ready to take a picture of you getting that shot. First so that we can yeah, let's then get it over just, with. Just, okay. Okay, so sure. um, tell us so, about this year's vaccination or vaccine. Okay, or so we do have a couple of different vaccination options. Um, we have the nasal vaccine, then we have the traditional injection can I get the vaccine. Nasal vaccine. Unfortunately, we didn't bring the nasal vaccine okay. today all right. for you. It's okay, it's okay. I'm just um, asking. This year, the CDC is really recommending that children between the ages of two and eight who are healthy get the nasal vaccine. Okay. It's a good option because it's needle free. Mm -hmm. It's less painful, um, but it is a live virus, and it is only specifically formulated for a few different groups. So that means that people who are pregnant cannot receive it. Anybody who is immunocompromised or has a weakened immune system cannot receive it either. Okay. Now, the traditional injection vaccine is as effective. That's what we're going to be giving to you. All right. Now, when you get the flu shot, I always tell people to remember that it's really not as bad as you might remember from getting your childhood vaccines. It goes pretty quickly. Mel and I were just talking about it. It seems like we had a whole trip. Just bring the tray of vaccine <laughs> right. vaccines out. Right. And I both frequently lived right. over, traveled overseas when we were children, so Ugh. it was everything. Yeah. Right. You would get vaccines and oral medication sometimes, yeah. the whole thing. Mm -hmm. So this is not nearly as bad. Did you bring the short needle by any chance? I did. I brought the smallest one possible okay, for you. you. Okay. Okay. So. I don't have a, you know, it's not an issue, but why not get the short needle? Right. Yes. Okay. Is that standard or do, can people request the smaller needle? There are specific types where you can have a shorter one. Sometimes it's longer, but it's very thin. It really also just goes by very quickly, so it shouldn't Does be Does it really make a difference? It's still stabbing you in the arm. <laughs> Which there are a couple of tips, though, that I can give you guys, okay. which is, first, make sure that you're well hydrated and that you've rested well, because whenever anyone has a lowered immune system, they tend to get sick more often, and sometimes they can feel worse after it. Okay. Generally... Three cups of coffee. Is that hydrated? Well, if water was involved as well, yes. I did use water. <laughs> okay, good. Okay. All right. More water is better for and you. And do I get um, one of those lollipops you afterwards? You will, absolutely. All right. So, uh, yeah. And then an ice pack also, if at all you feel any redness or soreness. I was also mentioned that you might feel like your arm's a little sore. You mm -hmm. did a workout, but you didn't actually hit the gym. So but you it? won't get sick. Because that's, I think, the biggest myth, right? You're, you're, you're going to get sick because they're giving, you're getting flu. Absolutely. If there's one thing that I want everyone to take home, it's that getting the flu shot does not give you the flu. We really know that it protects you and those around you. And also remember that it can take up to two weeks for you to actually build the complete immunity from getting the vaccine. So the sooner the better. We see that it really peaks in January, February months. Okay. But sometimes we've also seen cases as early as October and November. So getting it right now is a great time. Let's get it right now, Ben. All right, perfect. Let's do this. I then. feel, Chris, like we need some good... Arm stabbing. Music. No, you all no, just keep talking. Arm stabbing. It's, you don't it's like arm you're everybody's it's little brother, little, Steve Shannon, you know, everybody. So you can really like, get the flu shot. Um, at, you can get it at your doctor's office. You okay. can also get it at local pharmacies. There's a lot of other flu clinics that are going on as well. Now, How's doctor, the supply doctor, this year? You didn't have five cups of coffee this morning or anything, did you? Not a little, not a little <laughs> I should here. be. Okay. You're going to be next if you don't stop. <laughs> How's our supply this year? It's, you know, there have been years where we have like run out of the flu shot. We're doing pretty well this year. As I was mentioning, the CDC really is recommending that the younger children get the nasal vaccine. Because of that, the pediatrics is seeing more of the nasal vaccine, and we're really trying to offer the older adults the uh, injection vaccine. Okay. It is approved the nasal one for anyone from two to 49 years old, but everyone who's six months and older should be getting vaccinated. We also have a special vaccine for people who are continue. 65 years old. Well, I, I was trying to distract just myself. Talk through it. That's right. That's what okay. I do. Just, I also just talk always your way tell it. people to just, take a deep breath. Okay, tell me when. And then blow all the way out. And just think about the Redskins tonight, Allison. Oh no, that might distract you as well. There you go. There, you're you done. done. You did a great job. I felt that though. Did you? Yeah, but you know what? I'm not gonna feel. You're not going to get flu. sick, exactly. You won't so, be laid up in bed for five I did it. days. Just a little pinch. And then oh, got a special, special band-aid oh, band oh, band for you. Oh, Jasmine. Oh, nice. Yes. Thank you. And you get to pick a treat because you did so well. Okay. <laughs>
Thanks, <laughs> you all three. Not a problem. Okay. okay, so it's nice for you to be here. One of okay. the um, other myths that we have is that you really can't get the flu more than once a season. But because we have multiple strains that are circulating, unfortunately, sometimes you can get it. So it just it had a little after kick that I was. Did not, it? Are you doing like, okay? Should we get yeah, you the okay. ice pack? I think I'm about to pass out. Are you feeling okay? No, I'm fine. Go ahead. <laughs> do the sugar. Help me. There you go, Steve. You did great. And pass no, one to no, you're probably going to no, need the sugar. Did, we don't deserve them. Here we you don't. go. We were just mocking well, they you. We don't get a treat for mocking towards you. Towards the end. No, we didn't really support that. <laughs> Here's a question that I have. There's a lot of people that say they're not getting the flu shot because they haven't had the flu shot. In the past. You know, I've never gotten it, and I don't really get sick. So should I start now, or if I get the flu shot, is that going to change the way that my body, I guess, adapts to things? So as we were saying, now is the best time. Young and healthy people really still do need the flu shot. Um, everyone really can offer, can get protection from it, six months and older. And then the other reason is each year we have different strains of the virus. So you really want right. to be protected against what's potentially going to be out there this year. And we do a lot of research to kind of formulate and predict and then develop a vaccine that's going to protect you for this actual season. I feel healthier already. You do. You feel yes. better now. Right. I do. A little bit of Guess what this means? You're not allowed to call sick the rest of the year now. With flu. With the flu. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's Dr. really Angle, the thank worst. Thank you very much. It is the worst. Nobody wants the and flu. Get you're your actually shot. protecting them too, so they should well, be. Well, thank you, Alice. You're right. welcome. Oh, <laughs> well, you just took care of all of us. Thanks, Alice. <laughs> Where'd the slippers go? All right. Mel, well, really, here. have one. Right Steve, there. have one. No, 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 no. They're for you. You earned it today, friend. Thanks for coming all in. All right. No problem. Okay.